What? It's good fellas. And welcome back to Rebel Rescue. It's me, Fucking Plays on FM 22. Today we're taking on Red Star Belgrade in the third qualifying round of the Champions League, where we do need to win. Um, obviously, for us to have an opportunity to get into the Champions League group stage, but we have one more set of games after this one if we do manage to beat Red Star. But that is a big if. So if you do go on to enjoy this episode, do make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Now let's get into the video. Boom. Right, fellas, as I said, we're taking on Red Star in the Champions League third qualifying round on the Champions Path. Um, one game played since we were here last. It was against UCD. We just, we were very tired. Like, very, very tired. Much rotated side. A lot of players were injured or suspended, which was not ideal. So we're going into this one mostly with a good team. Uh, with the best team we can, I guess. Uh, we are six points behind Shamrock Rovers. So I don't think we're going to win the league this year. Even though we have by far and away the best striker in the league. We are running out of games swiftly to try and close down this gap. The fact we lost to UCD was frustrating as well. Um... If we do manage to beat Red Star, we do have to play Malmo or Basel in the next in the playoff. That makes us makes us gets us into the Champions League group stage. So I'm not expecting an awful lot, but we're going to hope for the best. We're going to keep an eye on the Malmo Basel game, depending on obviously how we do against Red Star. Um, we do have Cahal Efrenin out. Unfortunately, uh, Roy Quigley is still injured, so our main right back isn't available. That's less than ideal. Nordstrand has been lately. Um, our front four has been fine. I'm kind of struggling to figure out who is the best one to play in the front four. So Keane is going to be playing today. I was considering um, Onofriti or Tunde, but I also thought maybe. Kalsberg, but Kalsberg's been in quite good form. Colin Whelan's form's been quite good. Marion Prince is playing a 7.12, even though he was pretty terrible in the last game. But as you can see, four changes for this game from the game against UCD. So we're going to go there. We're going to... We are going to... Cause a few surprises, because we are the underdogs, obviously. We have travelled all the way to Serbia. Uh, we're going to send the assistant to that. We're going to skip the part where they walk out onto the pitch. All right, we're two minutes in. Um, and I'm very glad that I signed those two centre-backs right at the end of the transfer window. Because we would be in quite a substantial amount of trouble had we not. Um, and unfortunately, Luke Keane does manage to hit the base of the post with his daisy cutter shot. But everything's fine. You know, we're 15 minutes into a game where we're not the favourites, for obvious reasons. We, Like I said, form has been mixed at best of late. Uh, still can't get um, Benini into our Champions League team. Because every time I try and remove a player, it won't let me add him. So that's quite frustrating. But Colin Whelan's picked up the ball from Prince, finds Kevin O'Connor, whips it across, Luke Keane... Hits the crossbar again. Oh, it's not been Keane's uh, season so far. He has been just... Oh, it's been it's been frustrating to watch. He'd scored eight goals last year. That looked like he crossed the line. I think Luke probably has a case for a goal there. Uh, none of our players closed down their striker. The winger is just left... That was... That was not the best defending. I think we've been caught out a little bit there. With our young centre-back partnership. And Emil Hasgard. Hasgard. Has got himself a bit of a booking. Actually, half our defence is Irish. Half our defence is Danish. Ooh, we've gotten away. I, when I saw Emil's name pop up. I was a little bit worried we were going to get a sending off. The fact his name is still being highlighted. He's playing poorly and on yellow card. That just spells we're going to concede. 
The one thing I would say is we did lose against Ferran Cavaras away. But we came back to win in the second leg comfortably enough that we won the tie. So there is potential that even if we were... Oh, that was just... We're really living on the edge here. Um, there is potential for us to survive if we can keep the score to a minimum. If we could score, that would be fantastic. As long as we don't concede three or four, I think we could be okay. Uh, the fact that Keane is the one that's gotten all the opportunities so far is a little bit annoying because if it, any other day, any other player probably would have scored at least one. Um, speaking of, Albrecht smashes the ball towards the goalkeeper. Kevin O'Connor whips it in. Can't find one of our defenders. Farnberger does get there. Uh, the guy playing at left back, I signed for, yeah, er um, Erkovic. I signed him previously in a couple of different saves. He's a pretty good centre back. I'm not sure why they're playing him at left back. Um, I know looking at him before the game, because when I saw the name, I was like, oh, I wonder, is that the guy that I signed multiple times before? Uh, is actually the guy. And, uh, yeah, he's, he's he's pretty good. Um, again, like I said, don't know why they're playing him at left back. Um, our centre-backs are having an absolute mare of a time. 6.2 and a 6.4. They're really getting found out today. And uh, speaking of, Coleman gives away a penalty. So we could be three down before half-time. Going to fire them up. Prince just couldn't get there and we're down to three. I... We could settle for a 3-0 defeat, but I feel like we need to push on. But their goalkeeper is having an absolute worldly of a day. It's half time. Hopefully they just calm down. Okay, no, never, never mind. I was going to say, hopefully they calm down for the second half. No, 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 no. They're going to keep attacking. It's 4-0 at half time. I did say this was going to be a very difficult game. Um, Hasberg's playing a 5.9. I'm going to thrash my arms and say that that is nowhere near good enough. I'm going to point the finger and tell everyone that they're not doing well enough. And I'm going to take Emil off. Because I don't really feel like having my 18-year-old Danish centre-back feeling as bad as he probably does right now. Uh, we need you to sit a bit in our oar. Because... Kevin O'Connor is going forward and then Kalsberg's just getting absolutely nothing. Um, it would be nice if we had Kyle for this game. But instead, Pack P gets to play instead. I'm hoping um, Stephen Kenny isn't watching this game because Coleman is much, much better than what he's done today. Oh, Whelan puts Keane through. Luke Keane chips the keeper. His fourth of the season. I think he had double figures last year. He's struggled a lot this year, though. Um, he was pretty much nailed on starter last year, but he's just not quite found his stride so far. This could potentially be the the game that he actually comes out and does things. Because I was, I was I'm not going to lie, I was going to take him off at halftime. Um, okay, we're 69 minutes in, and nothing is really happening. So we're going to bring on um, Emiran. I don't have a centre-back to bring on, so Coleman's going to have to continue. Keith O'Connor, or Keith? Kevin O'Connor could come off. I don't see the point in taking him off. He's a really good player. Um, Onofedi's going to come on for Albrecht. Farnberg moved back to play as the Mozilla. On a free D can play as the attack midfielder. That's our three substitutions made. If we can just get the game back to even 4-2. Not, no, I said 4-2, not 5-1. That is the opposite of what we were looking for. Oh, I don't want to see it again. That was terrible. Okay. 5-2. 5-2. Farnberger. Whelan's true. Callum Whelan with the instant reply Gain 5-2 As I said That's You know It's comfortable Can we get 5-3 No 
Nordstrand finds Keane, whips it across. Fabian heads it down. Kevin, on a free tee, puts it in the back of the net. Okay, so our substitutions are working. Our substitutions have have worked. 5-3. I feel this is, you know, just give a bit more encouragement. We can do this. There's 10 minutes left. Can we get? Can we make it 5-4? Kevin, with the corner. Oh, I can't find any of our defenders. Oh, Pac-P, what are you doing? I should probably rename him because I always forget his name. Ben. His name is just Ben. This dude's name is just Ben. Must be some sort of Brazilian wonder kid. That was... We're not even attacking. Okay. So, 6-3. Could be worse. Oh, one of our players, Onofriti, has gone off with an injury, but it doesn't seem to be that bad. Fabian. Oh, that was a tackle from behind. Penalty? No. What is the physio doing? Surely. Surely they can't allow this. The physio's running across the pitch. I was putting Nordstrand off. Nordstrand's like, who's this? Who's, who, who is this man running? Oh, I was going to say, who is this? Oh, it's it's a wrist injury, I think. One of Freddy has a wrist injury by the looks of the taping on his arm. Uh, Malmo and Basel having a less insane game. It is 2-2 in their one. So, you know, some people are having a, a relatively comfortable day. Our defence has just been shocking today. Um, Onofriti heads it to somebody. Uh, Prince, you know, would be nice if you ran onto it. Get the ball forward. Thank you. Okay, not quite that far forward. We're just kicking the ball one end of the pitch to the other. This would this is perfect for Red Star. Farnberger. Captain Supreme. Finds Luke. Nordstrand. Luke, shoot. We're just not meant to win this game. Well, we can't. We've th we're three goals behind. We're just not meant to get anything out of this game. Keen. Oh, it's true for Cullum. Oh, he's beating the keeper. Get in. That's his 50th goal. Fantastic. Cullum wheeling. Beautiful ball through by Keen. Keeper. Oh, that fell really, really nicely for Cullum. This is quite the spectacular game. It's asking me, do I want to take off one of the Red Star players? I don't think that's, um, that's not a good idea, I don't think. I, I probably could, like, cheese the system. And I've had them take one of their players off, like, ten minutes ago. Uh, Coleman finds Farnberger. Keen. Onofretti. Colin Whelan. Onofretti puts it through. Emran. Oh, he's offside. Oh. Going into the second leg at home. One goal down would have been fantastic. But unfortunately, Noam Emran didn't check his run. Even though our defence did not have a great game. Our midfield did not have a great game. Our left winger did not have a great game. Goalkeeper also struggled. The majority of our strike force, midfield attacking players did relatively well. So we're going to be back in just a second for the second leg. Hopefully it won't be as chaotic as a 6-4. That is mental. Right, fellas. So it's second leg time against Red Star. And I did pop on to Luke Keane's um, <clears throat> history. Just having a quick look to see how many goals he scored last year. 15. So I was right. Did hit double figures. A little bit inconsistent. 7.01. He's a pretty, uh, pretty good player for us. But we did manage to beat St. Pat's 4-3 in the last, um, last match. It was a lot harder than it really should have been. Um, Emil Halsgaard getting himself sent off wasn't ideal because I think Charlie Savage was already after coming on so we'd already made three substitutions so he just slotted in at centre back and he cost us a goal right at the end it was a little bit squeaky bum time um, but once we'd gone ahead I started making some changes just to rest a few of our tired players because we have many tired players uh, league wise 
Um, we are still sitting fourth, but we're only five points behind Derry, who, in fairness, do have a game in hand. Would be nice if we could close that gap just a smidge. But we could be out of the Champions League, so maybe we won't need to worry about Champions League anymore. Because it's just... The, the games are coming super fast. All right, so we went attacking for the last game. Not going to do the same for today. That wouldn't be a good idea. One thing I did forget to mention, if we go to news, I signed a new deal. So 1500 quid. I'm here for another two years. Um, Onofriti was happy that I uh, came to, or was staying at the club. And then uh, an hour and a half later, pulled ankle ligaments. So not ideal for him. He's going to be out for a little bit of time. Uh, two weeks and Heffernan is still out for another four, which is not ideal. I have decided to put Kay Murphy on the bench today. So I've not been playing, uh, not had a striker on the bench for a while. That's probably not ideal. Um, Hasgard does continue in centre back today because Pack P. Then where do I trust him as centre back? Uh, actually, we are. We're we're going to do it. We're going to do it. We're going to trust our instinct. I've had a chat with Coleman, Prince, and Nordstrand to tell them to get their shit together. Um, also, Emran is back in for this one because Emran was fantastic against St. Pat's. So why not start him? We do have quite a number of options on the wing and it's just a case of finding the ones that do what they're supposed to do. Um, Colin Whelan was pretty meh in the last, uh, the last game. So hopefully he can come into this one and smash it. Uh, Nordstrand does play it right back because Quigley just isn't fit enough yet. He could play 45 minutes, but I don't want to put him in in a situation where he could get injured again because he is our only good right back that we have at the club at the moment. Uh, Nordstrand has been pretty good. He's picked up an injury. Pulled groin. We leave him on for now. He does want me to bring on a meal. Because I don't think... Did I, take, I took Quigley off the bench. I did. I took him off the bench for Glennon. But Ryan Coleman... I had a chat with him and told him he wasn't playing well enough. He's only gone and scored. Which is fantastic. Um, In the game against St. Pat's, actually, Luke Keane was playing a 7.2. Suddenly went down to a 6.5. And then he scored. So, wasn't 100% sure what to make of that. Um, I just assumed it was because he was being fantastic. He was just doing his normal, really good at football things. That is definitely offside. Yeah. Fabian is just going to get stuck on two goals for forever, I think. Uh, we do have the lead in this game. It is down to a one goal behind. Still haven't checked if it's uh, if away goals count. I don't think. I think they've gotten rid of it completely. Uh, but Colin Whelan. Colin Whelan is definitely up for this one today. He has been more involved in this game than he was in the last one um, against St. Pat's when I took him off for Tunde. Our second or runner up in next Oh Albrecht, that was not the that was not the pass. That was not a good idea. What central midfielder side on the bench? I have Glusen. Oh, I was gonna say I could bring on on a Friday to play in central midfield, but I can't because he's injured. But we do have Farnberger looking at this, trying to figure out how I can fiddle with the team so I can take Nordstrand off at half time. We do have Albrecht who can move to right back. Farnberger could come on or could move back into central midfield. But I'm not sure what else we can do. Uh, it doesn't seem to be affecting him though. He is getting involved in. Cullen <gasps> Colin Whelan. Get in. Colin Whelan with the assist. Emran smashes it into the back net. It is six, six on aggregate. Nordstrand's shot fell quite nicely for Whelan and Emran. Beautiful with the Decanio into the back of the net. I'm just going to say I'm happy with the number of shots. I'll have a look and see how Nordstrand is doing. Wants to stay on. He's not too bad. We leave him on for a little way longer. Um, yeah, we leave him on for a little way longer. We have we have the options. If we need to take Nordstrand off, we have Albrecht playing. Technically, Coleman, even though it says he can't, like he's not good enough that it's popping up saying he can play the position, he can actually 
play right back. He's one of the best right backs in the in the team, but he's also probably our best centre back. Luke Keane, why did you take the shot? That's like an FM twenty. That was that was big in FM twenty, wasn't it? Uh, Kevin O'Connor. Ooh, Packy, Pack P. Just put that one over. Kevin O'Connor, corner from the or not throw in from the other side. It's going to be a long one. Why is he taking long throws? That's fine. It's worked. Long throws are working again. Everyone, write it down. Write this down. Write it. Take a note. Take notes. Quickly, people, take notes. Long throws work. Um, we don't have to pitch at, at the absolute widest. It's some bit long or some bit wide, but not the longest it can be. Uh, it's also not, not the widest. No, it's not the longest or the widest it can be. So it's you know, it's just doing things. All right, 10 minutes left. We haven't made any substitutions and our players are probably dying. We're going to bring Tunde on. Um, Albrecht can take Nordstrand's place because Nordstrand is literally dying. Uh, we'll swap Glusen and Fabian because Glusen is not very good at the old attacking style. And I think we leave the final substitution for now. Like I said, we do have a bit of time. We've... 10 minutes left. Uh, Red Star have made changes. Why are they bringing. Erkovic. On at left back. I don't understand their logic. Let's play. A dominant centre back. At left back. I don't get it. I don't understand. But that's. Not for me to understand. We're going to take Emran off. Because he's. Tired. Not playing all that well. Bring on Kalsberg. Inside forward actually. Saying he's better as a winger. Yeah, no, his attributes haven't changed that much. Um, He is, since he's come back, his crossing has gone up to a six. And his shooting's up to a six. But we have come from behind and beat Red Star. We're going to win the Champions League, my friends. We are going to win the Champions League. Seven, six on aggregate, three nil on the night. We are the best team in the world. Basel. Basel is where we go next. Five, three against Malmo on aggregate. Aggregate, we overturn our first leg defeat. Nordstrand's out for eight days. We'll go back and do that in a second. 85,000 for playing and for winning. And now we draw Basel. O'Connor. See, I told you, O'Connor is fantastic. More fixture rearrangements. Both games against Waterford. We're never going to get to play Waterford. Our end of season is just going to be like two Waterford games. Although we have to play the semi-final at some point. So Basel is all that stands between us and Champions League group stage football. Which will give us a tidy bit of cash. Definitely would have. That, even just that has helped significantly. We did make it onto TV. And we broke our attendance record again for the third Champions League home game in a row. So I imagine the Basel game is going to bring quite a number of people. And we still won't have Heffernan. Just does not get any easier than it uh, than it has been. Coming towards the end of the season, we have like twelve games left. Of the, yeah, we have twelve league games left. I do want to get Champions League football again next season. So we play Shamrock Rovers next episode. I suppose it has to be the two Basel games, doesn't it? First and second leg. I we're not going to get we're not going to get into the Champions League group stages. I understand that, but I think. At this stage, um, the playoff, losers, we're going to the Europa League group stage. So, we're still going to make some money. Um, if we go to Europa League, into the group stage, you get money. Money! Like, even losing. Okay, a draw. Even drawing would get us 180,000. And that would be fantastic. Fantastic. But I'm going to hold my breath. Um, regardless, we're in Europe for the foreseeable, which is delightful. So we'll have to wait and see what happens with that. So, as I said, Basel in the next episode, it's going to be either the Champions League group stage or the Europa League group stage. Either way, I'm a happy bunny. Thanks so much for watching, fellas. Make sure you leave a like, comment down below how you think we're going to do against Basel. I think we're going to lose. I did say that about Red Star. Said we were going to lose by the odd goal. We won by the odd goal. I think we're going to lose to Basel. Probably by... I'm going to say... 
4-1. I think we'll score a goal. But we're not going to be in any way good against them. I think we might beat them at home 1-0. But we're probably going to lose 4-0 in the away leg. When we're going to Switzerland. So thanks for our church fellas. Of course. Leave a like. Comment. Subscribe. Share with all your friends. And we'll catch you. In the next one.